Welcome to Leading Organizations That Matter, a podcast on the topics of leadership, organizational culture, and finding meaning and purpose in our work. I'm Ray Spadoni, former CEO and current consultant, author, and speaker. Today's topic is interim versus transitional leadership. This is the typical scenario. A board of directors needs to fill an open CEO position or a member of the executive team must recruit for a key leadership role. A decision is made whether to hire a search firm or to internally manage it using LinkedIn, Glassdoor, Indeed, or other self-help tools. The pros and cons of these approaches That's a topic for another time as I have thoughts on this, but today I'm going to discuss the notion of hiring an interim leader and how that differs from hiring a transitional leader. First of all, 90% of the time, an interim leader is hired because the recruitment process failed. It just didn't yield the right candidate for the job and the existing or looming vacancy is causing some anxiety for the hiring group or executive, and so there's a rush to plan B. That could be an internal person, or it could be a temporary hire. In this situation, there's a gap, and so all eyes are on whatever strategy will help fill that gap the quickest. In these 90% of the time situations, there's an association between The hiring process failed, and we had to bring in a new leader. As I said, it's the classic plan B scenario. Who becomes the interim leader? Generally speaking, it's someone internally who is trusted and who possesses a reasonable level of competency to do the job. Here's another topic for another podcast episode. But it's not uncommon for that person to rise to the occasion, often convincing others and more importantly themselves that they can actually do the job and well. When this happens and plan B turns into plan A, everyone wins. Fantastic. But what if it doesn't? In that case, the hiring group or executive will turn to an outside person. This person's typically chosen because she or he possesses a healthy dose of been there, done that, and this inspires confidence. And sometimes that person works out great. The organization goes on with their search and eventually lands the person they want. And once in a while, the external person brought in to be interim ends up being that person they want. And so again, everyone wins. But again, this is all about filling the gap a gap that nobody wanted in the first place. But what if there's a different reason for having the gap and the manner in which you deal with it? In this case, I'm talking about organizations going through some type of significant change or turmoil. Perhaps financial performance has declined or key strategic relationships have soured or maybe the external environment has changed so much that the organization's mission and viability could be at stake. In these situations, I would suggest that a transitional leader be considered, one with a track record of leading transitions. These types of transitions might end up being major turnarounds, developing a merger or acquisition, managing a divestiture, opening up new markets, or closing down unsuccessful ones. These transitions are frequently challenging and not all operational quality, clinical, or financially experienced leaders have the right skill set necessary to lead such a change. And here's another scenario where a transitional leader could make sense. Perhaps there is an internal candidate who is exactly the right person for the succession plan But that person is just not ready yet. Maybe it's the young quarterback who would benefit from a season or two watching, learning, experimenting,
building and developing before getting the starting job. In this case, having a transitional leader, one who is good at and who has demonstrated an ability to bring someone along successfully should be hired. A transitional leader is not who you hire as a sign of failure, but rather as an active, thoughtful, and very intentional decision. It's a way to fill the gap, not because your hiring process didn't work, but rather because you are thinking of the long-term good of the organization. Thanks for listening. I hope you'll consider subscribing to this podcast and providing a review on Apple Podcasts or your platform of choice. Feel free to learn more about me and my work at redsailadvisors.com. Mm-hmm.